this MAD Micro RC Mods, we uh, learn about the concept of building Micro RC lighter than a piece of A4 copy paper. Good. Something that it's sort of slower and more stable. Or more. Yeah, that's better. So it's got a stable sort of speed. G'day and welcome. This is Adam from AVA Magnetic Levitation in Australia doing another MAD Micro RC Mods video. Sorry for the absence in videos. Um, last three weeks I didn't have uh, access to editing a computer or the internet, believe it or not. Only for very, very short periods um, every couple of days. So I'm going to play a bit of catch up, hopefully, with the videos and the Patreon. So this is what I managed to work on in the meantime. Um, it's a micro delta plane. It's about 165 millimeters uh, across, about 100 millimeters long. It uses uh, Plankrico two channel uh, receiver, uh, uses a half gram actuator instead of a servo. And um, basically, yeah, and the motor and propeller also got from micron wings. And Plankrico and Micron Wings, the two main suppliers I use for pretty much all my micro stuff. I'm not paid or sponsored by either of them. Uh, it just makes it really easy to be able to go to just two places if you need to, um, whether it be Plankrico or your other supplier that makes your you know receiver controller kit you like. But for other bits than that, Micron Wings seems to have the biggest range on earth at the moment. So um, and they're in Australia, so very convenient for me. The plane itself um, weighs without the battery less than a sheet of A4 paper. Um, with the battery on board, um, the plane weighs probably 0.18 of a gram more than a sheet of A4 paper. It was intended to be an indoor flyer, but at the moment it didn't quite work out, so um, it's great fun flying it outside. <laughs> and um, almost inside so I'll be working on another plane like this and um, seeing if I can accomplish that now the actuator at the back the half gram actuator um, they have full range of movement and you have full trim function available as well um, the motor when you first turn your system on it's not armed yet so you go all the way up back down and then you're armed Full proportional, and this is the setup that I put in the um, cocaine cars or the um, cars in a can sometimes. Same sort of equipment, except a lot of the times I've used the larger um, receiver they sell. So, um, there'll be some footage of this plane flying um, when I stop talking. And um, yeah, if you like what you see in these videos or you want to see something in full detail, um, let me know, and I'll do a um, Patreon build with it. or I'll do a build where I show a bit of it on um, YouTube and a full detailed build on Patreon. By the way, the only reason I'm trying to do Patreon and ask for assistance from time to time isn't because I'm trying to get paid and live off my channel. I'm just trying to get the channel to pay for itself. Um, having a lot of trouble still with budget, um, but I've got a fair bit of stuff lying around and I'm pretty sure I can keep the videos going for a while. So. Please share, subscribe, spread. Um, uh, if you like what you see and you want to know a bit more about the Plankrico stuff and the Micro stuff um, that I'm working with, go to the link in the description now. Um, there'll be one for Plankrico, there'll be one for Micron Wings, and there'll be one for Patreon. If you go to Patreon, I will unlock the video I did about Plankrico equipment, um, which is an introduction video, uh, so that you can go to the uh, link and you can go to Patreon and you can watch it for free. So. Let me know what you want to see, um, let me know what you'd like to see in full detail, and yeah, I hope to see you next time, share, subscribe, spread, and please enjoy footage of me flying this thing. Thanks for your time. This is Adam out. Now, with the um, plane can have three different props attached to it, um, there's two different battery sizes you can use as well, which helps you if your um, plane's a little bit too light in the front, you go with a heavier battery, and vice versa. So if your centre of gravity is not quite there, you can always adjust it a bit with a battery. Um, 
the prop selection, I've got three props, uh, slow, medium and fast. This is the medium prop at the moment. Then I'll bore you with some slow prop footage and then I'll show you the high speed footage. And um, yeah, this plane was a big surprise. Um, this is a medium prop still. Um, what happened is after I, I did this footage, I actually um, put a much larger motor on this plane and went and flew it with a three bladed monster pitch prop. And lo and behold, the half gram actuator actually still steers it and it is extremely fast. Um, and I need to fly it in a larger area. So um, yeah, if people are really interested and like this one, ask in the comments, show some fast footage and I'll upload the thing going well over 70 kilometers an hour. And I've still got a bigger motor that I can put on it. Now this is the slow prop. Um, it's smoother, a lot quieter. Um, a little bit of a breeze or a, you know, a bit of terrain a prop set up like this can be a great deal of fun to fly. Um, it, even in a breeze, the thing will cope. Um, with the faster props on it, especially with the mods on it now, I even went and flew it in about a 12 or 15 kilometer an hour wind. And you know, this plane weighs the same or less than a sheet of A4 paper. And the thought that you can even fly it in wind is quite amazing. Um, but that's deltas for you. Now this is the high speed prop. Uh, a lot more fun to fly, sort of flying I'm more used to. Uh, a little bit on the noisy side, but once you get it away from yourself, it's not too bad. Okay, this is the plane with the um, high speed prop, but a little bit too much up, set on the rear, sort of like a roller coaster to fly. Uh, there's also a couple of crashes next, and that'll be the end of the video. So please enjoy, and I hope to see you next time around. This is Adam Mount, and please remember to check out my Patreon, and feel free to donate a couple of bucks towards the project. Thanks for your time. Yeah, that prop makes it a bit more pliable. Close up stuff, they get worse.